Iraq and Iran are as close to each other as countries get, like they're literally right next to each other. Yet of course, they're not only close together geographically, they're close together phonetically, with there only being a one letter difference in their names. So why do these two countries next to each other have such similar names? So first off, let's start with Iraq. In its very, very, very early history, the modern country of Iraq actually went by a different name, Mesopotamia. Well, I guess it wasn't so much the same country but with different names, it's more modern Iraq houses what was once ancient Mesopotamia. But what exactly was Mesopotamia? Well, Mesopotamia was more a collection of varied cultures in that region of the world. It is often referred to as the cradle of civilization, as it was in Mesopotamia where pretty much the modern human life began. Born from Mesopotamia were some of the earliest myths, religions, philosophies, the idea of a city as we know it today, and perhaps most importantly, writing. The name Mesopotamia comes from the ancient word meso meaning between and potamos meaning rivers, meaning the name means between two rivers as the land is situated between the Tigris River and the Euphrates River. Mesopotamia lasted for thousands of years with the Iraq region forming from it. The land eventually came to be ruled by the Ottoman Empire, but in the fallout of World War I, the British Empire underwent what was called the Mesopotamia Campaign and took control of the three vilayets, that's provinces to you and me, that formed Ottoman Iraq, the Mosul Vilayet, the Baghdad Vilayet and the Basra Vilayet and formed the Kingdom of Iraq in 1920 as a nation under British control until it declared itself a republic in 1958 becoming the country we know it has today, the Republic of Iraq. Now that was the history of the country of Iraq but what about that name? There's actually a couple ideas for where the name comes from. One idea is that it comes from the Arabic Araga meaning perspiring, deeply rooted, well watered which may reflect the impression the desert based Arab had of the rivers and luscious lands of Mesopotamia. The name could derive from the name of the ancient Sumerian city of Uruk or even come from the Persian Arag meaning a lowland. Speaking of Persian words that brings us nicely to the second country of this video, Iran. In the same way Iraq was once a central part in the civilization of Mesopotamia, Iran was once a central part of the Persian Empire with the name Persia merely coming from the old Persian word Parsa, while the name Iran comes from a contraction of this which is the ancient homeland of the area with Iran being the home of the Iranians. The name Iran is actually an endonym, meaning it's the name of the country in the country's language, with Persia actually being the exonym. Even to this day, the names Iran and Persia are used interchangeably, but officially the country is called Iran, due to the Iranian government in 1935 requesting that all countries that had diplomatic relations with the nation to call the country Iran. So despite these two countries being next to each other and having similar histories or being focal points to previous civilizations, the similarity of their names seems to be nothing more than a coincidence. Don't forget to subscribe and a huge thank you to all my great patrons. It would be amazing if we could hit $200 a month by the end of February. So if you love the channel then why not donate $2 a month and help us reach this goal and get your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Thank you.